Isaiah 50, 57, verses 1 to 2. The righteous preach, and no one takes it to heart. The, there was, Devils are taken away, and no one understands that the righteous are taken away to be spared from evil. Those who walk uprightly enter into the peace. They find rest as they lie in death. All right, our next scripture reader, I want to pull up very young. Um, what I really wanted to say, but why is it too close to us? That was fun. Um, yeah, we just wanted to say, you know, the crying is not, you know, it's tears of joy or in sadness. Because obviously she's not here with us physically anymore. <laughs> She's not here with us physically anymore, but she'll always be here with those two memories and spirit as well. And I just yeah, I told myself I wouldn't I wouldn't, I wouldn't cry but here I am still crying. And I just oh man. Philippians 1, 21 to 23. For to me to live in Christ and to die is gain. If I am to live in the flesh, that, that means fruitfully labor for me. Yet which I shall choose, I cannot tell. I am hard pressed between the two. My desire to be apart, depart and be with Christ, for that is far better. Amen. All right, thank you. Think of grandma, think of the love she had for her daughter. Um, she loved them so much. And while thinking of her, I came across this poem that I just want to share with everyone. So um, I thought I should have put it into standard terms. Um, but I hope you guys can see through the metaphor basically what the poem is trying to say. So it's titled Mother. Your love was like moonlight, turning harsh things to beauty, so that little wear souls reflect in each other obliquely. As the cracked mirrors beheld in your luminous spirit their own reflections, transfigure as in a shining stream and love you for what they are not. You are less an image in my mind than a luster. I see you in gleams, pale as starlight on a gray wall, evanescent as the reflection of a white swan shimmering in broken waters. So now I just open the floor to a couple of people who want to step up and say something about grandma. I'm going to do it for about five minutes, and then we'll have us. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, when the old man died, he confirmed with teleconfirmed with her. Uh, the first teleconfirmed. Said, uh, the old man there, I'm very happy. So we were as okay with a minute. Because nobody knows, everybody on the teleconference, some people might say, oh, we're on the 
tell that from right there, like, one man said, they all might die, it happened. So let me make it clear. Uh, the reason I said I'm happy is, if you compare the death this day with the, with the old man's death, old man lived long, you have to remain happy. That's why I made him clear like that. Um, so family, which is why we should be a, a proud of, our mother died, we should be proud of that. The reason is because we live longer. Middle aged people are dying these days, you know. So the old man lives longer. So I thank God that he lives longer. Me, I just want and pray like that for me to live longer like half his day. Thank you very much, family. Make sure 
see him coming up. Mm. Junior is good. But what because you expect from the woman that she will still be around you this time? She more or less become buddy at this point. You know? So I really, really want you to take heart. You've been men from day one. We're all over there. I, I asked you some time ago about your other little sister, I don't know, money or what her name. I have, I don't really know how you read. No, 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 Money or married? Tonyo. Tonyo, right? Oh my God. Hey! Hey! That one, if I see you anywhere, I'll be going my own way. You know what Yeah. Yeah, I asked Junior about maybe a more year, maybe a little bit longer time ago, I was talking, then I was, I remember you. One funny thing I remember about you is your, your throat was very narrow those days. <laughs> when you're swallowing GB, you hear this. Like, what is happening to this? My wife is You know, those are the things that, yeah, that was a little thing I remember about you, but from there, I don't see you in your know, so, 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 I was high name that time. Yeah, I don't know, it still happened to you or anything now. Thank God you're you in America, you might have treated now. <laughs> family, we have meetings, we have teleconferences, and uh, we have to speak as a family. Mm -hmm. I understand Samuel Quinty would be the one that will be speaking on behalf of the family. Mm -hmm. But the fact that we are here, we don't want to make ourselves know that we are here, especially the grandchildren now. I don't even remember now, I just seeing them again today. But for Junior, I've been seeing him time to time. He used to come to me in Worcester and all of that stuff. So uh, I just want to register my condolences to all of us, especially Mr. Park, thank you very much for being there for our mother. Mm -hmm. For all the period of time, mm -hmm. we were there from day one up to this time. Mm -hmm. If I can, we were, you know, happy move, I could say a lot of plaque for you. You did a good job for our family. Mm -hmm. You did a good job, and the family will never forget that. Mm -hmm. We'll never forget it. Mm -hmm. If I all things go better again in the war, Family need to have a war with you or for your or with you at some point. Thank you very much, Omen, for your effort. Your condition for you to do this kind of thing and keep our mother alive for the length of time is a big job for us. Thank you very much. I will stop this fight. Junior, get hard, and we are here to console you. Uh, family, oh, no, <coughs> you? Yeah. I'll get a number so we'll talk more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make sure that sound is gone. <laughs> I know. Let's let, 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 let that sound is gone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry that the coronavirus is in town. Mm -hmm. 